Okay, hello, my name is Leslie Williams and I am in San Diego, California. I am what is known as a targeted individual. And targeted individuals are what is known as the criminal expeditions of organized stalking, which can also be termed as gang stalking. Come to understand over time, at least the true bona fide targets, come to understand over time that there's an extremely high probability that you're experiencing things that are totally outside of the uh, realm of normalcy. And so the reason why I make my videos in part is to help my fellow targets, help uh, potential targets, uh, public awareness, and to expose the perpetrators that are known to be involved in these crimes or at least protecting them. Now, as a result of being uh, some targeted individuals, I'll put it to you this way. Some information has been sent to me over time by fellow targeted individuals and by individuals who had researched these criminal expeditions and what happens to targets. Uh, over time, separate individuals have, have sent me things online. And um, as a result of what it was sent to me, I did extensive research in reference to the statements, the descriptions, uh, bidee, 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 and the motivations behind some of the uh, specific details. Okay, case in point, targeted individuals like you can go to YouTube right now and you can type in George Nori Coast to Coast 21413 and you'll see that an individual by the name of Mike Fitzhugh Bell was covered on the Coast to Coast radio show on Valentine's Day 2013. Now he describes some of the factual realities of the things that have happened to him as a result of being a targeted individual. Now, Mr. Mike Fitzhugh Bell wrote a book called The Invisible Crime, which you can go to Amazon and buy if you can afford to do so. Uh, I personally have bought in this book. It's in my backpack right now. In this radio interview, he talks about how he experiences artificial dreams, about how the perpetrators can access his memories, uh, even are screwing around with his consciousness while he's sleeping. What we have to understand here are multiple things in reference to being a targeted individual and also uh, making sure that we protect ourselves concerning the things that we state because these types of criminal expeditions, let me just put it to you this way, uh, and I am going to be smoking my cigarette while I'm making this video because I'm getting ready to head out for the day and so I always have a last cigarette before I actually attempt to start to leave for my day, so excuse me for one second please. And if you're, a, if you're a teenager or a child, do not smoke. It's not good for you. Anyways, all right, so uh, as a result of being a targeted individual, you can, I want you to, what I, want, what I want you to do is listen to one of the following statements, write them down for future reference because these descriptions will help you. One of the main, one of the main, main, main things that a targeted individual can do for themselves and one of the main things that the public can do in general if they want to understand the extreme criminality that is attached to the perpetrators concerning what they're doing to targets, if they want to get a thorough understanding, it is best to listen to educated, seasoned targets because we are in the know. I'm in San Diego, California, and my name is Leslie Williams. So... The following descriptions are going to be able to give you uh, certain, what they are, are reference material. So you can uh, go and investigate. It's cooperating material. So you can synthesize the statements that I make to the material and then use that, both of those, as a reference point to do th uh, more thorough investigative research in reference to each description. And they are as follows. Go to YouTube and type in Timothy W. Bioethics Issues. He talks about neurocognitive weapons and brain entrainment. Then when you have that video up, I want you to pay very close attention to the YouTube videos that are on the sidebar. Yes, because these are targeted individuals who are testifying before the Presidential uh, Bioethics Commission concerning what's happening to them and understand this please that their testimonies are not the entire scope of what is happening to targeted individuals but I will make a sidebar notation before those individuals got up to stand before the bioethics commission to get their testimony I think they were allowed three minutes uh, the reporters okay that came to that bioethics commission were ordered out of the room yes because the bioethics issues 
uh, that are uh, 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 supposed to be attached to non-consensual human experimentation, and since torture is also an aspect of these criminal expeditions, uh, they do not want reporters uh, to uh, hear the testimony of how these individuals have been tortured, what has happened to their lives, their families, their friends, their loved ones, and their property. Yes. Yes, and it's one of the main reasons why these criminal expeditions are not only happening on such a prevalent scale, but also, it is also a tool, or should I say, well, it's actually a, a method of theirs, basically by making sure that the fourth estate does not cover these criminal expeditions that are allowed to continue. Because if the public at large knew what was really going on, understand this and be clear, there would be a lot of, um, uh, well, I'll just put it to you this way, the government would be exposed. Now, you can also go to YouTube and type in UnitedTargetedIndividualsEurope.com at YouTube and Google. And these are all descriptions that you're being given to, obviously, by me. So you can use them, again, for a template, a foundation to build on. And once you do, you will be glad that you did. Because the information that I'm giving you is, oh my gosh, you would not believe what I know. And I'm going to continue to talk about the descriptions concerning the reference material. Go to Google and type in surveillanceissues.com. Now, in this 214.13 George Norrie Coast to Coast radio broadcast with a Mr. Mike Fitzhugh Bell, he talks about artificial dreams, he talks about uh, uh, being drugged, he talks about um, uh, being gang stalked, which is also called organized stalking, same crime, just two different names for the same crime. Uh, he talks about being kidnapped, even raped, uh, and um, and the book talks about that as well. Now, you might think to yourself, what the heck is artificial dreams? Okay, go to the bo very, very, very bottom of the homepage of Freedom from Covert Harassment and Surveillance. Yes, there's three PDF links, remote neural monitoring, remote behavioral influencing technology, and directed energy weapons. The first P two PDF links uh, have to do with uh, the neural and behavioral manipulation and behavioral modification of targeted individuals and there are criminal expeditions, I'm sorry, there are criminal aspirations behind these behavioral influencing technologies including human trafficking, neural enslavement for same. So, and you can go to Google and type in remote neural monitoring and human trafficking and you will come to understand that it's even being used in, in uh, India. Yes. So, you think to yourself, what is artificial dreams? Well, artificial dreams are basically where what they can do, whether an implant is needed or not, and implantation can happen to anybody at any time, being done through normal appearing means. In other words, you can go to Google and type in a gang stalking tech, everything you need to know. It's a manifesto of a manager of organized stalking gang stalking crews. He flat out states in the manifesto that a specific section of the syndicate, they're called bureaus. In other words, each categorized section of the syndicate is called bureaus, like the Bureau of Travel, the Bureau of Technology. Okay, The Bureau of Technology has in their possession technology that can bring on fatigue, sleep, uh, uh, they can make you sleepy, it can cause artificial headaches. So think about this. If you're a, 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 a if you're a person who's being targeted, but it has not been openly targeted yet, in reference to the harassment of gang stalking, you can. What I'm trying to say is that you can be selected years before your life starts to fall apart as a result of covertly managed um, uh, uh, circumstances that are managed covertly by the perpetrators, who are basically tearing down targets' lives covertly in order to put them out on the street to have them gang stalked. And usually they're already being gang stalked anyways right before that. But the point I'm trying to make is this. Think about this. If you look at this manifesto and you'll clearly be able to deduce that the Bureau of Technology is able to give you an artificial headache, which might even mimic cyanitis. And if they do this to you once every three weeks, four weeks, you're going to start noticing the effect on your health. They will then, by that time, more than likely have either covertly entered your life through normal appearing means and even respectable environments, but they also might get around you in the community and suggest for you to hear what you can do if you if you got cyanitis or if you suspect you got cyanitis or migraines. And basically what they try to do is either by covertly, overly infiltrating your life through friendly means and respectable environments or through suggestion by getting around you in public places and having conversations for you to hear about how you can deal with the headaches. You end up going to ear, nose, and throat because of the solicitation. 
and this ear, nose, and throat, and you can even be remotely behaviorally influenced to go to a specific ear, nose, and throat specialist where they will happily put a neural implant up through your nose while they're acting like they're, they're testing your sinus cavity. Yes. These neural implantations can also happen to you if you get in a car accident or if you have any reason to go to the hospital and they can also enter your home while you're sleeping. I strongly suggest you research how they can pipeline gas and ether through your heating or air conditioning ducts, knock you out, enter your home while you're sleeping, and literally neurally implant you. So do these neural implantations and even non all particulars can be used as a conduit for to aid in the bed in uh, using your body, your brain, and even your skeleton as a trans receiver. Yeah, it's a semiconductor. And now these things are, I, I, I'm obviously aware that you might be hearing about all of this for the first time and you might think to yourself, what the heck is this woman talking about? Go to YouTube and type in extensively, extensively, Lorraine Moret. Yes, do it. So. Basically, what I'm saying is that the artificial dreams can be can be initiated at least through the remote neural monitoring and transreceiver nanoparticulars or neural implantation can be used as a as like the middleman between their technology and the target's video and audio cortex. As a result, the target can experience what is known as conscious augmentation. Go to YouTube and type in augmented reality and virtual reality. And this is where they're able to literally transmit into the target's head while they're sleeping what is known as artificial dreams. Yes, that can be anywhere between a targeted individual experiencing people being raped, tortured, children being raped or tortured, weird, totally weird, freaked out types of dreams. Okay, yes, you would not believe what I know. You can also go to YouTube and type in John Hall Satellite Terrorism. So, when you hear... and what I do and what I am doing in this is trying to help targeted individuals and the public at large to understand that every single description that I have described in this YouTube videos in this YouTube video is a factual reality. It cannot be disputed by perception, opinion, uh, disbelief, okay, uh, or your you know whatever conscious deliberations that you might want to attach to the uh, cynicism. Uh, skepticism that you might have concerning the statements that I'm making. In other words, it doesn't matter if you believe it or not. These are factual realities. And I make these videos in order to be able to demystify and deconstruct how they operate so targeted individuals can make better sense of what's actually happening to them. Because these individuals, and you can also go to YouTube and type in mind hacking, mind uploading. Yes. Look. I do what I do because human life is precious. You can also go to YouTube and type in John Hall satellite, uh, John Hall coast to coast, January 2013, and listen to how he talks about how they're harvesting emotional clusters, and that is part of the reason why targeted individuals are being tortured and harassed. Because every time a person experiences a traumatic event, a traumatic event, whether it be neurally or physically. Uh, the brain experiences emotional uh, emotional reactions and re responses. That, as a result, uh, produces emotional clusters. If a targeted individual is being remotely neurally monitored or the silent sound spectrum is being used on them as these experiences are happening, basically what they're doing is uploading the EEGs, readouts, which are the emotional clusters, as the target is experiencing harassments, rapes, physical assaults and uh, artificial dreams that are uh, usually uh, along the lines where th what they're basically trying to do is split this uh, the psyche of the targeted individual by producing torturous violent artificial dreams for the target to experience as they are sleeping so I make these videos in order to be able to inform to expose the truth concerning these factual realities Conscious augmentation. Google it and YouTube it. YouTube augmentation, rea uh, uh, augmentation reality and virtual reality. And basically, the only thing they're doing is transmitting uh, productions that they have made through their augmentation reality and through virtual reality and through high definition video productions, which are basically nothing but theaters, uh, which is basically nothing but a movie, kind of like a movie that they have incorporated 
using either the either high video uh, high definition videos productions basically like you know how like when somebody makes a movie everybody plays a role okay and it's videotaped basically what I'm saying is that they can take anything that they produce okay and and transmit it into the video cortex of the targeted individual as they're sleeping along with any productions they that they create using augmented reality or virtual reality yes and then just transmit them into the video cortex of the target even using the target's consciousness okay to interface and interact with the segments of the production that is being transmitted into the video cortex you would not believe what i know understand this and be clear this stuff was developed by the military they know what they're doing okay and if you're just hearing this stuff for the very first time you better take each description that i have described cross-reference synthesize once you investigate the particulars and the cooperative material and you will be able to make a holistic pictorial representation concerning my statements and as a result you will come to understand that american citizens and even citizens worldwide are being tortured all for the sake more than likely just so they can upload emotional clusters and brain states and for mind control yes which even includes neural enslavement for sexual exploitation i'm in san diego california my name is Leslie williams i regurgitate these statements to you based on the information that was sent to me so you can deconstruct and demystify what's happening to you and to notify the public at large thank you for listening and have a nice day